as opposed to the hypokinetic gait, we now have the hyperkinetic gait, which we see um, what we call a chorea-form gait, or chorea. With this gait, there are not only abnormalities in the gait itself, but associated movements. There can be uh, oral facial dyskinesias in which the patient, which will be having movements of one side or the other side of the face, kind of a grimacing type of a fashion. There can be movements in the upper extremities and there are fragments of semi-purposeful type of movements or writhing type of movements. And then the legs will also start to go. And so the patient attempts to walk, get the superimposition of the, move, of the movements, but the patient doesn't actually fall because the balance is not affected. Just you have these involuntary movements that are now being superimposed on the gate.